To show examples of the 12 principles of animation, I have chosen three of Pixar's films. To start, I have chosen Pixar's first short, Luxo Jr. For such a short film, Luxo Jr. includes many of the 12 principles of animation. The first is shown in the exaggeration of movement in the lamp, bringing human qualities to an inanimate object. Throughout the clip, the appeal that comes through for the characters is emphasised by their personalities. Anticipation is shown throughout the sequence, particularly when the larger lamp is waiting for the ball to return and more exaggeration is shown to betray that it is surprised. As the smaller lamp jumps into frame, an example of arcing is shown in the lead, as well as a small amount of follow-through and overlapping action when he stops. The smaller lamp jumping on the ball shows the timing and squash and stretch principles. And secondary action is shown after the ball has deflated in both the lamp's reactions as they lower their lights. Further anticipation and exaggeration are shown here as the large ball comes into view. The next clips I have chosen are from Toy Story. A good example of fine detail in movement in a secondary action is Ham's feet tapping. They bring more life to the character throughout its, this simple lifelike act. The staging here emphasises on Buzz's face, bringing our full attention to him as he fills our view. Another example of squat and stretch just used when they land on the bed. To my knowledge, all clips shown are solid drawings. The great example here for follow through and overlapping action is shown as the characters are all at different depths away from our view. The appeal in the characters differs as one has rigid movement whilst the other is more flexible and doll like. Exaggerated movement is shown in Woody's arms here to emphasise his frustration. Sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. Wait a minute. I just lit a rock. Here is another example of secondary action, as the movement in Woody's face is betraying the speed they are travelling at. Slow out and slow in is used as the characters fly down under the wire, which is another example of overlapping action. Straighten ahead and post pose action are shown here, one as they are flying, and the other as we see Woody's feet dangling, which can also be classified as a secondary action. Final clips I have chosen are from Finding Nemo. Overlapping action is used in this sequence as the fish are swimming around the coral. Can you quit it? Well, I'm trying to swim here. What, the ocean isn't big enough for you or something like that? Huh? You got a problem, buddy? Huh? Huh? And staging is shown to emphasise on Dory's face. Yeah, ooh, I'm scared. Slight amount of squat and stretch just used as they start to swim, as well as exaggeration in their movements. Straight ahead and post to pose action are shown here in the sequence as the fish are swimming. I don't believe this. No, it's true. I forget things almost instantly. It runs in my family. Well, I mean, at least I think it does. Um, Great secondary action is the constant movement of their fins, which brings reality to the characters. In particular, the fins are most almost arm-like and um, used for emphasizing human characteristics. The appeal of the characters is shown in the contrast between Dory's positive attitude and expressions in comparison to Marlin's negativity. More exaggeration is shown here as Dory speaks well dialect in contrast to Marlin's complete disbelief that she is making any sense. To sum up, these were a few examples of the 12 principles of animation that I was able to find in these three Pixar animations. Just as well, he might be hungry. Don't worry, whales don't eat clownfish, they eat krill. Oh look, krill! <laughs>